participate today in um, fasting so at the moment it's 4.25 I'm kind of trying to stuff myself to have this porridge so I force myself to wake up super early because this will be the last meal until evening so I literally like five minutes later I'm so full I can barely eat this porridge I wanted to capture a authentic reaction throughout the day you know how I feel what kind of thoughts are going through my head hunger is actually affecting you you know and especially being here in Dubai um, like what kind of things am I exposed to like also it's going to be like 36 degrees tomorrow here in Dubai so it's gonna be so hot and I'm gonna get really thirsty. You know what, if so many people can do it, I can do it, right? Let's go and have a look what this journey is going to be like for me. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the morning. So it's like 11.30 right now. All I'm starting to talk about is food. It's something I shouldn't be doing, but I'm so hungry. But I have to stay strong. It is hard though, I have to say. My concentration levels are like zero right now. What they have in Dubai actually, um, during Ramadan, they get Ramadan hours. Most offices close like two, two hours by law. Just to have a shorter day, I guess. All right, so it's literally 4.56 and I'm about to head out. So it's been over 12 hours I haven't eaten. It's been hard. It's been moments where I've been like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna get through this. Where like I felt really weak and like I was just laying down. And then I would have it's like, you've had, no, you've had no water. Yeah, I had like a little ball of energy that I just kind of just got on with it. And yeah, just one hour left. I'm actually proud of myself. So we're actually in old Dubai where we're gonna try some Emirati cuisine. Oh, it is really hot as well. 36 degrees, having not a bit of water, it is definitely a challenge. And I've only done it for one day. Really respect people that do it at home. This year, actually for the first time ever, they've actually allowed outdoor seating. They don't cover up the restaurants any longer during Ramadan. It's all about promoting tourism and getting people to actually come to Dubai because I feel like during this month, people try to avoid coming to Dubai. But now they've done this, I feel like more and more people will be able to come and actually like experience this atmosphere this is actually what it's really like to be in Dubai and this is a different side of Dubai not Burj Khalifa not your luxurious yachts in the room so you actually have to take your footwear that's a oh my god, I'm losing. You see, I'm, I'm weak. Losing your balance, yeah. I'm losing my balance. But has it been in Dubai? Like this past few weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. I get to eat or drink outside. I have to walk to the office. Yeah, you can't. I, I had some lunch today and I wanted to take it to the office. But I ate it upstairs in the mall because I felt awkward carrying like, the 
once. But you can. Yeah, but on Friday especially. Yeah. I feel like it's Friday. It's rubbing it in people's faces, isn't it's it? It's a bit too mad, yeah. I can't wait. Literally, I'll, I'll probably have like two dates and I'll be so full. <laughs> Alright, finally. <laughs> After. Wait, last time I ate was at four o'clock in the morning. So I'm having my first bite. I'm so excited. I, can't, I don't even know if I'm hungry anymore. I'm just excited. How's it feel? I need the calories. <laughs> mm. So this is a day. How was your first bite? <laughs> I have to say, it was worth the wait because the food here is amazing, so I'm excited. Ramadan. Yes, of course. Uh, so back in the days with the Prophet Muhammad, basically he had no foods for several days. So that's in his honor what he was doing, eating or fasting, just in his memory, like to feel what he felt. So this year, um, Ramadan has fallen out to be April to May, which is four weeks of fasting. It's the holy month. So if you don't already know, this is a month for a spiritual discipline where you go without eating throughout the day. Meanwhile, you get closer to God. They pray throughout the day. You obtain from eating and drinking, smoking. There are exceptions for pregnant women, the ones that are nursing, the ones that are sick during this time. And it's perfect time to reflect on the poor and needy and also to focus on studying Quran. Fasting is actually one of the duties of Islam. Um, as you can see there's like tons of decorations, stars and moons, it's really cute. This is the mosque, a um, local mosque. Every time there's a prayer you will hear when it's time to pray which is amazing. So um, yeah, it's an amazing experience. I'm so glad I decided to participate in it and, and like the appreciation of food at the end of the day was like amazing. If you are coming to Dubai, there's pretty much like no restrictions. You can drink and eat at restaurants and nothing's gonna be boarded. If you are coming to Dubai and you come in during Ramadan, please do not be afraid that you're gonna be restricted or whatever. Of course, you need to be um, aware of the community, people fasting and, and sensitive about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys soon. The king of the tribe.